This episode of Moist Meter brought to you by Godslap. Issue 3 is out right now at godslapbook.com. You can find links below in the description. Go check it out. Initiating moisture. I can't even begin to describe how low the bar has been set with video game live action shows with things like the Halo television series being an affront to God and probably just a downright violation of the Geneva Convention. That show was absolutely atrocious and should be considered a war crime. And we didn't even have a moment to catch our breath because they came right back around and dunked our head in the septic tank with Witcher blood origin. Point is, video game live action shows have not been hidden. They have been shitting, and my god, it's been awful. Now, video game shows have been working in like an animated format, Cyberpunk, Edge Runners, for example, or Arcane, but Last of Us was live action. So I was, I was a little scared, but I was cautiously optimistic because Last of Us, the game, is a fucking masterpiece. The first Last of Us game is an unreal experience that already has all of the DNA to be a great show. All you have to do is follow the roadmap without getting too cute with it and thinking you know better and changing everything. And I'm happy to say, they didn't. Not only did they follow the roadmap of Last of Us, they improved upon it. The things they changed or added actually improved the overall narrative somehow, which I didn't think was possible. It fleshes out some characters we didn't get to spend a lot of time with in the game, like Sarah, Joel's daughter. She was only in there for a little bit, but in the show, she has like a whole episode dedicated to really giving a ton of information about her, and we learn a lot about her and Joel's relationship, so it makes what happens next feel much more impactful. Which is incredible, because in the game, that intro sequence I still think is one of the finest in all of gaming. The intro to The Last of Us is pure perfection, and in the show, it is done justice. It's done just as well, if not better, because we got to spend more time with Sarah, so everything that happens feels bigger and more emotional. And they don't do that with just the characters, they do it with the world itself, and I, I really appreciated that. All of the main story beats are still fully intact, however, there's a lot more that does go differently than the game in, the sh in this show. For example, Bill and Frank. Bill and Frank in the game are not a huge part by any means, but in this show, they have an entire episode dedicated to them and their relationship. Now, there's things I like and dislike about that approach because I think they did a great job with Bill and Frank's relationship. I think it's a good episode, but I, I do miss the chemistry between Joel and Bill. In the game, the two interact. The two, you know, they work together. I'm trying not to get into spoilers too much here. In the show, Joel is very, very, very minor in that episode. Very minor in Bill and Frank's life. So you don't get that same effect where Joel and Bill have this chemistry together. And that's okay. Like, I didn't mind it. I did miss it a little bit. But the episode still does a great job. And the story beat is still intact. Bill does still serve the same purpose in the show that he did in the game. So all of that is still intact. And they go about it in a different way that I think does work. But... I do miss the Bill and Joel chemistry. And I feel that way about a couple of other things as well. Example, the infected in this show aren't prevalent, like at all. They're there sometimes, but very sporadically used. And I get that they're not the focal point, they weren't the focal point in the game either. But in the game, you do encounter them quite a bit, and it helps with the pacing of things and making things feel higher stakes. In the show, since the infection, the infected, all that, is kind of at the back burner to the people and the characters around it, it doesn't feel like the stakes are always as high as they say they are because we, while watching the show, haven't seen it as much. So I would have liked if they played a bit more of an integral role in the show, if we saw a bit more of like how devastating and, and how brutal life is out there with the infected. But it's not that big of a deal. That's not a huge complaint of mine. It's just something I wanted to point out. I really don't have major complaints about the show in general. I liked it a lot. I think everything they did here worked. I think Pedro Pascal as Joel was an amazing choice. I think Bella Ramsey as Ellie was amazing. Like All of the characters did a great job. And I can't believe the tactic of don't play the games before playing the roles worked out. Because I hate that shit. I don't see the point in telling your talent to not play the source material... I still don't get that at all. Like, you don't have to be impersonating the characters. You don't have to be fucking cosplaying as them or whatever. 
Like, you don't have to be a caricature of it, but it should at least be good to have that knowledge of how their role was played in the source material. But I digress. They told them not to play the games, and it still worked. The portrayal of Joel and Ellie in the show was very faithful to how they were portrayed in the game. Like, they, it was just really well done. And I also liked the new characters they introduced. They did introduce new characters that I thought would absolutely just be a stupid idea, but they made it work. And those new, char those new characters added a lot of elements to the development of both Joel and Ellie, or, or the world around them. Like, everything they did here was a good call, for the most part. I don't have anything that I can point to and be like, that sucked. But there is one thing I can point to and say, I wanted more. And that is in regards to the finale. I feel like they rushed it. Now, not in, in a terrible way. It's not like this is a horrible, rushed, awful ending or anything like that. But I feel like they wanted to get through it pretty quickly when I think it would have benefited from maybe an extra episode. Like, if they had one more episode to really drive in the nail with everything that happens at the hospital and everything leading up to the hospital it would have hit much harder. They kind of speed ran that and made Joel the fucking Terminator. They made him the goddamn Punisher out there. He was he was nearly immortal, like John Wick going through there, dispatching everything, and it didn't have that big buildup. This, this is a spoiler, but you know how it goes in the game, right? Like, you know Joel eventually takes Ellie back because to get the cure, they would have had to kill Ellie. And he, he had already lost his daughter. He wasn't going to lose Ellie, the closest thing he's had to a daughter since. So he snaps, he kills all the fireflies, he takes Ellie back. All of that happens in the space of like 15 minutes at the end of this show. That entire sequence is like 15 minutes in the show. If they had dedicated a whole episode to building up to that and building to that and even exploring in the hospital beforehand, I think it would have really benefited from that because I think there was a lot more that could have done there as opposed to just speed run how that plays out. Now, I get in the game that it also happens quick. I, I, I do understand that, especially since you are the player character and this is your moment, like, you just go fucking hog wild, you kill like a thousand fucking people, it's all gruesome, it's all bloody, and it is here too. It's gruesome, merciless, bloody, all of that you expect, very faithful, but this was a good opportunity to do more with it as well and, and deliver more in this moment. At least that's what I would have liked to see, but I'm not disappointed either. Like, I can't say that I think it's bad, because it's far from it. It's not bad. I was just, I guess I just really wanted more from it, because I thought there would be. Like, they have whole episodes dedicated to flashbacks, right? Like, they have a whole flashback episode for Ellie and her best friend and how she ended up getting bit. I think this was a really good opportunity to give a whole episode dedicated to the most important turning point for The Last of Us, with Joel and Ellie here in the hospital. So that's just like the one thing that I, I'd like to point out as another thing that I think would have really helped overall elevate the show. But it's also not bad in its current state by any means with the ending or how all of that's tackled. It's still extremely good. The Last of Us is an amazing game. And I'm happy to say The Last of Us show is an amazing show. Plugging this into the moist meter, I'm giving The Last of Us show a 90%. I think they did an extraordinary job with it. They absolutely fucking crushed it. So I'm very happy to see that it was done well, and uh, yeah. As most of you know, we started our own comic book series called God Slap. Everyone who's read God Slap so far has unanimously agreed that it's the best comic ever produced, and God Slap is well on its way to becoming the biggest name in all of comics, overthrowing Marvel within the next five years, according to recent scientific projections that I'm pulling out of my ass. It's a passion project created by myself, Jackson, Danny, and Matt, and we brought in an industry veteran named Aubrey Sitterson to help write it with us, and we're extremely proud of what we've created. Issue 1 and 2 are already out, and Issue 3 came out today, as of right now. Issue 3 is available at godslapbook.com, and per usual, this is the standard cover, but we also have two limited edition variants, which will only exist until they're sold out and they'll never be reprinted. So they're available at godslapbook.com. 